There you go. It's recording now? Yeah. This is my 1997 Honda Shadow Ace 1100. It has been heavily, heavily customized from head to toe. It was built by a man up in Port Elgin, Ontario, for the, over the last seven years. We start from the front and work our way back. The front hub has been completely chromed, uh, including the brake disc rotor. Those are twisted spokes, came up from California. That's a fiberglass fender. This is a heavily raked front end, fully adjustable. Came from Europe. That uh, there is a gas tank off a of Boss Haas. Holds a lot of fuel. The engine incorporates two SNS Shorty inch and seven eighths bore carburetors. Actually, the one you're looking at is fake. It just looks good. The, the actual bike runs on the other one on the other side. Forward controls by Jardine. Paint job was of roughly five thousand dollars. It incorporates a mural of the chainsaw guy. The bike itself was named Chainsaw. Embroidered right in this custom seat by Corbin. Again, another rear fender made of fiberglass. Rear hub has been completely chromed. Shortened shock absorbers. The bike has been dropped about two inches at the rear. There has been cam work done to the engine. You have a nice tail light on the back. Again, rear hub has been completely chromed, uh, including the brake disc. These pipes are made by Jardine, and they are equal length with built-in baffles. The engine has been removed and powder coated the barrels. This is the actual carburetor that runs the, the bike, an inch and seven eighths shorty with a .74 thou main jet and an 031 thou uh, intermediate jet. And the carburetor has an accelerator pump. Uh, we have a twisted, or a, sorry, a tattooed handlebar, uh, risers, chrome brakes, uh, brake cylinder, master cylinder, really cool mirrors. Can't see very much out of them. Little windshield on the front because we have a lot of bugs around here. Well, what do you think? Shall we fire it up? Now that is one of the nicest Honda Aces I have ever seen. And also one of the nicest bikes I've ever drove. Very comfortable, very easy to handle. Has all kinds of low end torque. Let's just say it works really well. Anyways, all this can be done for approximately, well, I'm assuming he put about 15 grand into it. Probably a whole lot more. I'll get, get a video of a ride in one of these days. See ya.